guys and welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to be updating you guys on me not using oils on my hair um I don't a lot of you weren't following me back then when I posted the video of me not using oils but I did post that video back in March of 2018 so it's almost a year but I haven't been using oils for actually over a year because I have I didn't use oils prior to the video so first I am gonna link the video above of the first video that I posted of me not using oils now I got a lot of hate on that video like y'all came hard for me like I gave a damn like I really I just want to put it out here that like my channel is ne not necessarily for you to tell me how what's best on my hair like if I make a video about me not using something I have literally thought about it and studied it for literally months before I posted that video so don't think I'm out here just throwing videos out here to you guys without knowing information like no I just want to put that out there so don't come to this video with the BS because I will block you I really will because I I'm I really do try my hardest to bring really great content to my channel and my community is amazing you guys trust what I say you guys give me feedback on what I say and I love it but the hate and the negativity I won't do it like I, I literally block your ass because I don't care okay <laughs> this is my channel this is YouTube this is me this is me this is your girl okay so um I just want to put that out there J before you know you decide you want to get all you know talkative Mm -hmm. Oh, I got my nails done too, y'all. It's cute, ain't it? I feel some type of way. So, if I do this a lot, that's why, girl. I have a few notes written down right here. This is actually a Carol's Daughter little, um, like, notebook, notepad thing. I don't even know how I got this, <laughs> to be honest with you. But I was like, ooh, let me write in this. So, I have some notes here. So, when I say I don't use oils on my hair, what I'm saying is when I'm doing the wash and go process, I don't do the lock method. I don't do the LCO method. I don't take my time to put oils on my hair like specifically like during my wash day I don't put oils on my hair you know what I'm saying so what I do use oils for because I do use oils for certain things but it's only for certain things and it's not every day it's not every wash day it's only for certain things so when I do use oils I do have a little snatch spot a little ball spot right here where I snatch my hair out girl and so I'll use it on that because I am trying to grow that part out. And the only oils that I use on that part is black castor oil. That is the only oil that I use to like, you know, help my hair grow a little bit. And it's only in that section. I rub it on that section. I don't go crazy put it all over my scalp or nothing like that. If I don't part my hair and just like go crazy with the oils like your mama used to do back in the day. And my mama still try to do when I come home. She'd be like, let me oil your scalp. <laughs> like, bruh. Well, I'm good. I'm good. And the other time that I do use it is if I want to separate, like if I'm doing a twist out or a braid out and I want to separate my hair but I don't want to cause a lot of frizz, I will add oils to my hands and then unravel those. Those are the only times that I use oils on my hair. Only. Only says. Okay? And the reason I stopped using oils on my wash and goes, guys, is because it really didn't do anything for me. I just kind of realized that I needed to focus more on really great products that had the ingredients that I like. Like, I love aloe vera. That's just something that I look for in products. I like honey in my products. Those, that's what I really look for in my products. And I really, really love products that have those two things in them. But oils, I just felt like it wasn't necessarily doing much for my hair. It didn't add to anything. It didn't help my hair look better or anything like that. So I was just like... You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think this needs to be in my um, routine. And then I literally stopped using it, and I felt like my hair has flourished. Like, just let's just take this wash and go that I have in my head, for example. I know you're looking at it like, bitch, you slaying it today. And I know, girl. I know. I'm feeling it, too, and I have to wash it out today. So I just wanted to make another video before I washed it out. But, girl, like, only thing I've done, I did my wash and go. This is the wet line plus the Mayel, the same wash and go that I mentioned. Pro it's actually day five hair, y'all. Like, get into this hair. But um, this is the same wash and go, and I haven't added anything. No water, no oils, no extra moisturizers. We don't do that. I don't do extra stuff, extra oils, nothing. I don't do any of that. I use good products so that I don't have to do extra work on down the line. And that is, that's kind of what I'm trying to get you guys to understand. Like, if you do a really great wash and go, on wash day, honey, your shit can last a good two weeks. Like, 
I'm already a week in this wash and go and it's looking better and better and better by the day. That's because I took my time. I put my leave-ins on in the shower, okay? We put a good little moisturizer on, right? And then we put a nice gel that's holding everything in place and it's like, you know what I'm saying? So, yes, that's where I am. Oils just didn't do anything for my hair. So I was just like, why? I, I don't want to do unnecessary steps in my wash day. I just don't. That's just not something I'm condoning here. Use nice products. And, and, and that's it, you know? That brings me to my next thing, guys. Products have a ton of oils. If you guys watched my last, my other video, where I had over-moisturized my hair, okay? That's kind of what a lot of you guys are doing when you're adding so many products that aren't necessarily working for your hair. It's not doing anything. Stop using these products that are not doing anything for your hair. Some of these products are just, it's, it's a gimmick. <laughs> that's what I thought. Like, honestly... My whole thing behind oils, I was just like, everybody adding oils to their lines for what? What? Because you don't have enough oils in your products? Like, what? I was just like, I feel like they just cheat. Like, they just throwing that in there because people like oils, and so they like, hell, let's put that shit in there. So, you know, that's just how I felt. You guys are entitled to your own opinions. This is my YouTube channel, so I'm just trying to tell you what I've been doing over the past year and stuff. So, yeah, guys, I just felt like some, some of these wash-and-go routines are just doing too much. I try to keep it as simple as possible. It doesn't take a lot, but if you get too good, and that is honestly what started my wash-and-go combo, killer combo series, is because you don't need all this shit, y'all. Once you get some good combos, you are good. But, you, I mean, you got to get a good combo now because some of this should be flaking. Some of this be just looking a hot mess. But once you get a good, and I mean a good combo, it should be in there. And you don't need oils. You get these good products that give you that moisture, that gives you that hold, that gives you everything that you're looking for. You don't need oils. As you can see, my hair looks shiny. And a lot of you probably like, dang, she must got a lot of oils. I ain't putting no oil, no water, no moisturizer, nothing on my hair since I did my hair. And I am loving my hair right now. It got some frizz, but it's like healthy frizz. It's like that good frizz. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I'm about to wash my hair, but... Yeah, guys, I just wanted to bring this video to you guys because I know that a lot of you are new subscribers and you're probably like, I never see her use oils. What oils do she like? Well, I do have a few oils. Like I said, I do use it for my scalp, my little ball spot. And y'all, I have so many oils. Let me see. I've always liked the Jamaican Mango and Lime line for oils. And um, they have so many black castor oils. I'm This, is, this video ain't sponsored, by the way. It ain't sponsored, sis. But, um, they have this one. This is like a black castor oil. This has vitamin A, D, and E. And they have, literally, I have all the oils, y'all. I just wanted to pull them back out. But they have so many. This has rosemary in it. This has argan oil. But they're all black castor oils. I highly recommend black castor oils if you are looking to grow, like, a little spot in your hair. Like, you've got, got a little ball spot, a little edges, a little thinning. Black castor oil is the way, sis, for real. So, um, they have an argan oil one, they got their original, you know what I'm saying? They got an extra dog, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Um, they got a coconut one, and yeah, they got a peppermint one, like, I just like mix it up, you know, whatever I'm feeling for the day, rub it on, cause I have a ball spot, if you guys don't know, I have a, I have a little bitty, well, it, it's probably gone now, cause I literally, you know, been working on it. That's why I don't wear middle parts, if you guys haven't noticed, because I broke my hair off. I don't know what I was doing. I really, I can't even remember what I was doing, but I broke my hair off right here in the middle. So, yeah, I got a little, I got a little snatch. It looked a little bald for a minute, but we, we, I think we good now. I think I can do a middle part. I might do a middle part in my next video. But, um, yeah, I just use that oil for um, spot doing any type of growth that's needed. Edges, bald spots, that's what black castor oil is perfect for now if i want to separate my curls y'all y'all should already know it oh i'm gonna say i'm gonna go get it i'm gonna go get it girl mm. boo yeah my niche oil it, it smells so good if i am gonna use the oil i want the thing to smell good like if i'm gonna use it on my hair hair not on my scalp because you know black castor oil don't really smell that good but if i'm gonna use like an oil that like smell like to separate my my twist outs my braid outs just to avoid frizz it doesn't matter which oil you use honestly but i just like the Mish beauty one the polished hair and scalp oil this one is really really good it smells 
so good. Like, I love an oil that, I love products that smell good, honey. Mm-hmm, smell good. So, I do use that one if I am. I just rub it on my hands and just separate my, um, twist outs, braid outs, and all that. I don't even add oils to my twist out or my braid outs before I braid or anything. Like, when my hair is wet, basically, I don't add oils. I do not add oils to my hair when my hair is wet. Okay? So, I only add oils when it's dry. I guess that's a simple way to put it. Basically, the whole video is telling you that. I only put oils on my hair when my hair is dry. Okay? So, um, I mean, I hope you guys like this video. It's just an update. Hope you guys liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.